Welcome, uh, we are solving Advent of Code today, it's day 13, like halfway through about, I hope it's it's not the, the hard one, uh, because they are like, sometimes they are hard ones, sometimes they are easy ones, I hope, I hope this one is easy, right, uh, let me start project um, first, like, here you complete copy lucky number 13 day 13 um create file here day 13 okay um that's it let's check out the the problem the 13 distress signal. Okay, maybe I want to put it like here. Okay. I have very tricky um, microphone setup. So, yeah, let bring it a bit closer. This is probably okay. It should be okay. I hope, I hope so. No. Okay. Um, you climb the hill and again try contacting the elves. However, you instead receive a signal. You weren't expecting a distress signal. Your handheld device must still not be working properly. The package from the distress signal got decoded out of order. You'll need to reorder the list of received, received packets, your puzzle input uh, to decode the message. Your list consists of pairs of packets. Pairs are separated by a blank line. You need to identify how many pairs of packets are in the right order. For example, bam, 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 bam. Okay. Packets data consist of lists and integers. Each list starts with bracket, ends with bracket, and contains zero or more comma separated values. Either integers or other lists. Okay, this is perfect for closure actually. Uh, each packet is always a list and appears on its own line. When comparing two values, the first value is called left and the second value is called right. Okay. If both values are integers, the lower integers should come first. If the left integer is lower than the right integer, the inputs are in the right order. If the left integer is higher than the right integer, the inputs are not in the right order. Otherwise, the inputs are the same integer. Continue checking the next part of the input. Okay. Um, if both values are lists, compare the first value of each list, then the second value, and so on. If the left list runs out of items, the inputs are in the right order. If the right list runs out of items first, the inputs are not in the right order. If the lists are the same length and no comparison makes a decision about the order, continue checking the next part of your input. If exactly one value is an integer, convert the integer to a list which contains that integer and its only value. Then retry the comparison. For example, comparing 0, 0, 0 and 2, convert the right value to 2, listing to 2, the result is then found instead. Of, okay, using these rules, you can determine which of the pairs and examples are in order. Yeah, this is easy. Um, left is smaller, so inputs are in the right order. Okay. Again, okay. yeah, yeah, I get it. What are the indices of the pairs that are already in? Okay. Um, uh, determine which pairs of packets are already in the right order. What is the sum of these? Yes, this is, should be super simple actually. Um, okay, this is our sample, right? Um, so parse is going to be. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. We take data, uh, split, split lines, right? Um, then we do map reading read string. 
then we do partition two like this. Okay. Uh, yeah. What? Oh, I'm probably running different um, binaries. Sorry. And we are running it somewhere. Wait, what? Why can't I connect? Yeah, because I run the wrong. Sorry about that. Now we are connected. Okay. Okay, so let's see if we parse um, string being, can be cast to pattern. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's use split line section. Okay, does it look correct? Oh, I, I forgot to remove actually blank lines here like this. Okay, so blah, 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 one, two, three, four, one, four, okay. So now what we want to know is uh, how this comparison in closure works actually, because closure d can compare actually one and uh, one, two, three. So this is considered smaller, right? Now this is considered bigger. It's it's uh, it's it's what we need, right? Okay, it's it's, it's exactly what we need. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, now the only problem we have is that we won't be able to compare like like this, All right? Um, and I'm not sure what to do about it. I don't think we can provide custom comparators. So, uh, def compare a b cont and we have number question mark a number b well compare a b right or rather minus a little bit like that uh, and vector a vector b so here we we need um actually use cmp uh, we need to write this uh, recursively right so And to do that, we probably need something like, can we make a shorter list longer somehow? No, right, that. Um, You know what we can do? Um, it's it's shame because like closure comparison almost works, almost works. Okay, so this is what we can do. Uh, we are going to map A B with C M P. Okay, so this will give us sequence like zero, one, two, three, four. Then we are going to do um, uh, 
we compare it like this. Um, that means that they all equal. Okay, so let CMPs are going to be this. So basically we, what we want, uh, we either want to return this, right? Or or this, right? So if this is smaller, okay, yeah, this, this looks okay. Uh, and finally, Vector A number B can simply like this. Um, okay, so this is what we need, and now what we want is map simply. Okay, so we have parse data. Parse data returns pairs, right? Mm -hmm. What? Minus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, plus. Okay, so right, right, not, right, not, right, not, not. Okay, yes, this, this seems to be correct. Okay, so what we do with this is uh, zip with, with range zero, I don't know long max value okay um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this uh, gives us indices right this gives us indices and now what we're going to do is we're going to reduce it with a special function that takes e C and cont arc neg e. So, what if we have zero actually? What if we are uh, the two are completely equal? We don't know, but uh, yeah, let's. Actually, if it's negative 13, right? Yes. Okay, did I place data here? No. And that's the right answer. Yay, we solved it. Um, okay, so can, should we do anything? Actually, you know what? I remember that I have profile where it's like what is a little bit bigger. 
uh, should we do anything about it? Like this self-explanatory, right? Is this self-explanatory? Compare items while in boss. Okay, so basically map does comparison for items that are co common lengths. Uh, then we drop zeros and convert non-zero values that matters. Uh, here just converting. Here it's probably uh, tricky, but um, probably want this, then this, then this, and this. Yeah, this probably needs something 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 okay you know what let's do this um, reduce plus zero and then sequence is gonna be four um, basically a b parse data so this is our pair but we are also gonna zip it with this right away right so we know number of pairs kind of so it's gonna be e uh, like this when next in p a b e okay I, I i think this is more readable a little bit right so this is basically giving indices this is our data that we are parsing uh, this is destructuring this comparison this is index let's call it index like this yeah i think this is more real hopefully now um you just need to put all of the packets in the right order disregard the blank lines in your list of received packets the stress signal protocol also requires that you include two additional divider packets two and six using the same rules as above organize all packets the ones in your list of received packets as well as the two divider packets into the correct order for example above the result of putting packets in the correct order is okay after i locate the divider packets to find the decoder key for this stress signal you need to determine the indices of the two divider packets and multiply them together first plex packet is index one the second packet is index two okay in this example four packets that's what means so yeah this is actually gonna be pretty simple right so uh this is what we are going to do okay again we don't need this uh data is parse data but you know what yeah maybe we remove partition two from here And keep it here call it pairs oops okay uh, this way we have uh, packets packets um do i use map i probably want map v here into basically this uh, extra package that we need right um, well sort by cmp okay so this is our package right e1 is gonna be I don't remember did it add it to index of or not index of find okay is it didn't uh, right yeah they have it for string but not for list okay um Actually, I might have it somewhere in here. Maybe. No, no, no. Let's 
let's see if friends of your student in a collection you can see this in a collection if I like but we need index right well we can always use Yeah, no, we don't need that. Okay, well, anyways, um, let's check Java list. I think they have index of. Mm, or maybe collection. Yeah, they have index of. Okay, so index of. Okay, so ink index of markets we want vector probably to six and we what we do what multiply right yeah we multiply Okay, let's see. Yeah, this is because we should have switched to this. Huh. Yeah, sort by key fab. Think only there is one forty. And that's the right answer as well. Return to your event current. So I guess this was a breach, right? And this is like real. I wonder if this will eventually open or not. But uh, can this be improved? I don't know. It looks Decent actually for me. Didn't use this, I think. Right. I wish we had index of. So, you know what? Um, you know what? Keep index it is a bit more closure ish here. What keep index it does? It means that this a new result of add index item. Now this means what is the point of this item current? I don't know, maybe, maybe, but uh, I like this one actually, but we want, I just want, um, is it defined in a list or? Can I do index of on a list? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So maybe I put it here.
actually is it, it has to be you know it's, it's, it has to be slightly different um, I have to cheer, check I, for some reason I think they added it Uh, the, 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 the reason is like closure returns new usually so my I need to favor this probably this is my standard library so the way we are going to use it is uh, using my remote require it goes to the network and works but it only goes once so now it's cached actually um pram 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 yeah that's day 13 for you i like i actually wonder like why like like looking for an item in a list this is like it, it feels so natural actually I'm, I'm wondering why closure doesn't have it but yeah who knows who knows uh okay yeah this part of stream is done let me stop recording